say whenever you're going. Yep, let's go. Okay. Oh, I'll take my glasses off. Make sure my ears aren't freaking poking out like before. Okay, welcome to, uh, do you know how your glass pipe is made? I know how your glass pipe is made. Scott Rogers, let's burn and learn. Woo! Woo! Okay, this time we continue with inside outs. And I'm just going to get right to it because we're going to spend a bit more time on this one just because you got to melt that shit in. Okay, don't forget to put your cotton in the end of the tube here. You put a little cotton in there and the flame won't go up and burn your hand. Okay? You should have learned how to pick a hole by now. So you can open this up here in the end. Now you can use a flaring tool or you can just use centrifugal force. I like to use a flaring tool. I think it might save a couple seconds. Okay, flare it open. Now here, the next step is you'd want to fume inside here and then close it down and make a pipe and make a hundred of those. Okay, if we're going to skip that step this time, we're going to go straight to drawing on the inside. So, just so you know, first you make the clear pipes like I showed you in the first episode. This is the second episode and the next step would be to just fume on the inside, close it down, make your pipe. And we're going to skip that step. We're going to go straight to drawing on the inside. So this thing here, your stringer, I mean your uh, your streamer, is uh, you steer it just like a car. If you want to go left, turn it left. If you want to go right, turn it right. And then as you're drawing, you want to turn the tube. So if you want to draw to the left, turn the tube to the left. If you want to draw to the right, turn it to the right. So you're turning both of them, just like the car. So I got some amber purple, and I pulled down some uh, uh, blue moon. Okay. Bring the flare down. Remember, uh, you need a good internal clock because about every 30 seconds you're going to want to hit the back here with just a tiny bit of flame. Trust me, always do that. Otherwise, it's going to crack on you. Mm -hmm. It's going to get cracking all the time. Okay, you don't need the cotton anymore, really. You can throw that out. Let gravity pull this thing down. Notice the angle on that here. See? So when it heats up, gravity will pull that flare down. Take your paddle. Paddle closed. Heat it up again. Okay, 
you know, when you grab it and you close it, there's going to be a little window of time where you're going to need to pressurize your point to get the blow out even, which is right about now. So you know it's all nice and round again, just like when we started. Pointing up to it, <clears throat> and hopefully, hopefully you practiced making those clear, thick pipes. Because if you have, this next step is going to be real easy for you. Marver it straight. You want everything to be in line and straight. That's why it's important to have a good point. Nice straight point. Inside out, you're going to need a roller. Okay, same as with the clear ones. Use half of this for the stem and half of it for the bowl. get this as hot as possible. It's going to be all out of control on you. <clears throat> Just got to get used to it. Keep practicing. Okay, now just before I marver this, I'm going to want to hang it for a second like this. And that's going to send all that stem glass and put it right in the right spot for marvering. See, we're almost there. I might get this done in time so we can go over some essential exercises and stretches. If you're going to do inside outs all day long, you better be in shape for it or it's going to kick your ass. Oh, yeah. Like, it'll sear it up. I wasn't doing my stretches and exercises like I was supposed to. Didn't think I needed to and got a uh, mild tendonitis but uh, since I've been doing the stretches and the exercises it's going away but um, at this point I don't think I could do a big bubbler like I used to because I wasn't uh, doing the stretches so you saw how I marvered that out pulled it down now the stem here, this is going to be one of your hardest things to master. Just be sure that you don't hit the up. Uh, hey, up. Uh, Guillaume. Yeah. Go right behind me over the top. Okay, see I'm heating up this section here without hitting the blow tube. That's what's important. And up. Uh, Eventually this spot will heat up and it'll pull. Somebody gets a pull. Oh man. At least you don't do this. Pull in that. Oh shit, that was a bad idea. Bad idea, don't do that. But anyhow, I can't explain that to you at this point. And then you have some gather it together. So it's all, all the colors work in. And then marble the mouthpiece flat. Once you marble it, polish the marble marks. Let it fall back into center if it's not. Center up your blow tube.
take off your punty. Pretty much from this point on, you guys know what to do. Oh wait, there is one thing I can tell you. Which I forgot to do when I was talking about exercises and stretches and pulling down the stem. I was supposed to be telling you this point right here. You want to melt it in, blow it out a little bit, and then melt it down again, and that forces the color into the glass. And even heating, very crucial here. And if you're getting cold spots, like I have, make sure you hit those a little more. See it? Then I just blew it out. Blew all that color closer to the surface. Now when I melt it down, all that clear is going to surround the color to give it uh, depth. Well, this thing's looking pretty sick. Oh yeah. How many minutes are we in now? 11 minutes. That's not bad. Pretty quick. That's coming from a pro. <laughs> you know, these, your, uh, your inside out bowls are always going to want to blow out uneven. One thing I can tell you is wait for it to cool. If it's got thick spots in it, wait for the thinner spots to cool and then pressurize the tube and the thicker spots will blow out. Make sure when you're doing this, while it's cooling, that you're turning it and you're making sure that your bubble is on axis with your stem. I like to check to see which side looks better. Put on something dark, give it a couple turns. I like this side better. Come over the top, you're looking at your flat spot here, right? You're putting it in the flame, boom, look, see? It? Everything's square and even. That way your bowl will come out the right spot. Don't push your bowl down too far. People hate it when the bowls push too far and they smoke one bowl out of it and it clogs up on them. Make sure your bowl holes, your bowl holes should not accept a four mil rod. If it accepts a four mil rod, the hole's too big. If a three mil rod can't fit in there, it's too small. Simple but effective. Always polish the rim of the bowl. Make your stamp. Make these out of uh, the end of a graphite rod. Just carve in there with something. Make some tools like I did to do it. Pop your carve. You guys know how to pick the hole and take this off the stem so I don't need to show you that. I'd like to thank the burning learners out there and the viewers. The show's generated over 20,000 views now. I remember telling my wife, man I wish I could get three views a day. I'd be so happy. And that's, I think I get like 200 views a day or something. Or the show does, not me. Okay, so let's go over the exercises real quick. Get your weight, okay? You want to go like this? Just me about 10 times, okay? Then you want to go like this 10 times, okay? You want to go like this 10 times. Then you want to go like this 10 times. 
And then you want to do this one here. Keep your stomach tight. Do that like 10, 15, 20 times or whatever. Okay, come over to this side. Another one, bunch of these right here. Boom. A couple more up here. Wham. Bam, bam. Okay. And then you're done with those exercises. Then you got your stretches. You got 20 seconds this way. You got 20 seconds this way. 20 seconds this way. This way. This way. This way. And then you grab. Actually, I should have already had this up. Get you one of these little things right here. See? See what that is? A little squishy thing. Go in there. Do that about fucking 30 times. 30 times. Okay, now you got all your exercises and stretches out of the way. Um, tools for inside out. You're going to need some sort of marbling pad. You're going to need a torch. You're going to need different size reamers. A nice little bowl punch. Um, a triangle. I don't even know if they make these things anymore. Like I said, you don't really need this thing. You can use centrifugal force. Um, use the corner of your marber. Yeah, you can use yeah. the corner of the marber. There's all kinds of things. I like this little thing here. That works good to uh, straighten up the blow tube and the mouthpiece sometimes when they're crooked. Um, I guess that's it then. Uh, we went through everything. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, uh, Guillaume, for being on the camera there. And until uh, next time, let's burn and, and learn. learn. Love you, fucker. <laughs>